Well, the, the most important sign uh, is weight loss. If they need it and it's medically indicated and medically supervised, we know it's hard to accomplish. When it's just happening out of nowhere, you need to be very thoughtful in this day and age as to, you know, what's the cause? What's, what's the root cause of this? What's behind it? Abnormal eating behaviors, um, or in this case, insulin manipulation, should clearly be considered um, as one of the potential causes. We can see a patient who's becoming recurrently ill, so the DKA that I mentioned, I mean, that, that should happen once in a blue moon. Uh, when that's happening on a recurrent basis and a patient has had two or three hospitalizations for DKA in a year, when that wasn't the pattern uh, before, you certainly have to suspect intentional insulin manipulation. If you talk with, with people with type 1 diabetes, they'll tell you clearly, right? All of my peers are doing this. So just like dieting is a gateway behavior, right, for the development of anorexia, I think we need to see uh, insulin manipulation, no matter how mild it is, as a gateway behavior for the development of diabolemia.